hello students welcome to gk's education uh, how are you all i hope you are getting my videos very much clear you are getting your points clear through my videos so today i am back here with practical problems on revaluation accounts in this video we are going to do two uh, big uh, pra practical questions on revaluation account which will make you more clear the treatment and how to solve the question on revaluation accounts now let us start before it it is my humble request if you are liking my videos please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel so uh, here is your first question which we are looking it is a and b are the partners for the profit sharing ratio to ratio 3 their balance sheet as on 31st march 2019 was there are creditors uh, then capital accounts and then cash in hand cash at bank sundry debtors stock furniture and building now on april 1 2019 they admitted c into partnership for one third share in the future profits with following terms number one C is to bring 30,000 as his capital and 20,000 as goodwill, which sum is to remain in the business as we did all the conditions of the goodwill. So here it will remain in the business. So treatment will be accordingly. Number two, stock and furniture are to be reduced in the value by 10%. Number three, Building is to be appreciated by 15,000. Appreciated by 15,000. Then, number four, provision of 5% is to be made on sundry debtors for doubtful debts. Now, show the revaluation account, the capital accounts of partners, and the balance sheet of a new firm. So, now let us see what we will do with these adjustments. First thing that will be prepared by us is revaluation account. Now, see the basic uh, adjustments that are required number one is stock and furniture are to be reduced in the value by 10 percent so there will be a loss in the stock as we i am told uh, i told you in the performer uh, otherwise stock is an asset so it is debited so when there is a reduction definitely stock will be credited and revaluation account will be debited so now uh, the stock is uh, to be reduced by 10% here the stock is 18,000 so 10% 10 of 18,000 will be 1800 here it is and then the second one is furniture to be reduced by 10% in the uh, balance sheet furniture is 4400 so 10% 10 of 4400 will be 440 then third thing Provision of 5% is to be made on sundry debtors for doubtful debts. So, provision is a credit. Uh, so, a revolution account will be debited 5% on sundry debtors. So, debtors are here. The debtors are 5,500. So, 5% 5 of 5,500 will be 275. Now, then the building is to be appreciated by 15,000. So, building is 40,000. So, appreciation of 15,000 means there will be increase of uh, 15,000. So, building account will be debited to revaluation by 15,000. So, there will be building account on the credit side 15,000. Now, we will balance it. The difference the difference will be 1200, uh, 12,485. Now, this amount will be divided between the previous partners A and B in their old profit sharing ratio now uh, the uh, second point now we will, how we will treat the capital accounts in capital accounts we will see the balances the capital accounts the previous balances of the partners were 34 34050 34050 so we will brought down the balances by cash the capital brought by the new partner that is 30000 here it here it was given 30000 as the capital of the partner so the ca by cash it will be 30,000 and then now the goodwill amount here the things will lie let us first calculate the sacrifice ratio of the partners now C's share is uh, C's share is one third now let us see C's share is one third 
uh, then uh, the remaining profit is 1 minus 1 third that is 2 third now A's share now new ratio we will calculate also A's share is 2 by 5th earlier it was uh, his share was 2 by 5th now we have to calculate the 2 fifths of remaining share that is 2 thirds that means 2 by 5 into 2 by 3 4 by 15 and B's share 3 fifths of that remaining value 2 thirds so 3 fifths into 2 thirds that is 6 15 now A, B and C their new ratio will be 4 by 15 6 by 15 and 1 by 3 into 5 into 5 we will equalize the denominator 5 by 15 so their new ratio comes out to be 4 ratio 6 ratio 5 and the sacrifice ratio A's ratio will be old ratio minus new ratio A's ratio is 2 is to 5 minus 4 by 15 that comes out to be 2 by 15 and their B's ratio will be 3 by 5 minus 6 by 15 3 by 15 so their uh, sacrifice ratio also comes out to be 2 ratio 3 and then the distribution of goodwill so the distribution of goodwill will be in the sacrificing ratio this uh, the he has brought the goodwill that uh, uh, the new partner has brought the goodwill of 20,000 so the distribution of goodwill will be in ratio 2 ratio 3 so a will get 10,000 into 2 by 5 that is 4,000 and B will get 10,000 into 3 by 5 that is 6,000 so goodwill will be divided now see by goodwill account in the back to the capital accounts by goodwill account the calculation will be now 8,000 and 12,000 and by revaluation account these profits will be divided that uh, here the goodwill is divided in the ratio sacrificing ratio so uh, by revaluation account the, uh, the profit will be transferred and their balances will be carried down here like this and now come back to the balance sheet while preparing the balance sheet we have to take into consideration the previous balance sheet so first item in the previous balance sheet was cash in hand 710 so here cash in hand will be 710 plus 30,000 of uh, new partner's capital plus 20,000 of his uh, goodwill. So, it will be 50,710. And then, cash at bank, 11,925. There was no change at uh, cash at bank. It will be same. Now, sundry debtors, 5,500 minus provision was there. So, earlier it was 5,500. Provision is deducted and then the balancing figure. And now, stock stock is reduced by 10 percent so stock minus 10 percent that is it and building building is appreciated okay, the next item is building building is appreciated to the value by 15,000 so 45 40,000 plus 15,000 5,500 and the furniture again value minus 10 percent is reduced so it comes out to be 3960 then on the capital side sundry creditors here sundry creditors 12,435 sundry creditors 12,435 and the balances of the capital account these if your balance sheet is tallied properly that means you have done your question correct otherwise if both the sides don't tally then again check your question and find what you have left now come to the second question the second problem watch it very carefully here is the balance sheet given, the assets given of the party, then the, ad, the adjustments are on April 2019 they admitted A into partnership with the following terms. A is to bring 20,000 as capital and 6,600 for goodwill which is to be left in the business which is to be kept in the business. He is to receive one fourth share of profit. Now reserve to be raised to uh, equal to 2% on the debtors as a provision for doubtful debts. Value of the stock is to be withdrawn by 5%. Then freehold premises are to be taken at the valuation of 22,400, uh, 22, plant machinery 11,800, 11, fixtures and uh, fixtures uh, 1,540 and vehicles at rupees 800. You are requested to make the entries given um, uh, entries give balance sheet of a new firm as on 1 April 2019 and also give proper proportion in which the partners will share the profits the, there being no change in the proportion of R and S uh, so now let us uh, back to the question 
here the first part is the capital ratio the uh, new profit sharing ratio of the partners now the partners uh, capital is 30000 and 25000 their ratio is 6 ratio 5 now a is admitted for 1/4 of share now remaining share 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 so uh, r's new share will be 6 11 6 by 11 of 3 by 4 that means 18 by 44 and s new share 5 11 of 3 by 4 that is 15 over 44 r s and a their new profit sharing ratio will be 18 44 15 44 and 1 by 4 we will equalize the denominator that comes out to be 11 by 44 their new profit sharing ratio will be 18 is to 15 is to 11 now back to the question very important part now see the revaluation account always we prepare calculate the new profit sharing ratio and then the revaluation account now see revaluation account first point now a is to bring 20000 as capital and 66 with no effect on revaluation second point is reserve is to be raised equal to 2% on the debtors as provision for doubtful debts so 2% reserve Uh, for the doubtful debt, twenty twenty seven thousand five hundred is two percent. That is five hundred fifty. The second part is value of stock is to be written down by five percent. So the stock is forty one fourteen thousand one hundred into five percent. That is seven fifty. The third part is freehold premises are to be taken at the valuation of twenty two thousand four hundred. Now see earlier the Free hold premises was twenty thousand. Now two hundred twenty two four hundred. That means by twenty four hundred they have increased. So free hold premises twenty four hundred increase on the credit side. Then, uh, then we have plant and machinery at rupees eleven thousand eight hundred. Earlier the plant and machinery was thirteen thousand. Earlier in the balance sheet the plant and machinery was thirteen thousand five hundred. So thirteen thousand five hundred minus eleven eight. It is seventeen thousand and fixtures and fittings here in the question fixtures and fittings are seventeen hundred fifty. So here they are seventeen hundred fifty minus as the question it is given they are for fifteen forty they are increasing so uh, they are reducing so two hundred ten is here and again vehicles given are fourteen hundred fourteen thousand one hundred. And as per the question, now they will be valued at eight hundred. So that reduction of vehicle will again be here. Now, the balancing figure is lost thirteen hundred fifteen, and that will be transferred to R and S account in their old profit sharing ratio six ratio five. Now back, come back to the partners capital account. Their balance brought down is thirty thousand twenty thousand. New partners capital is here, and their balance will be carried down as this amount. Now. Partners current account here. Uh, we did the make the partners current account as in the op opening balance sheet. The partners current accounts were given. So we are preparing it partners current account by premium of goodwill. Uh, the goodwill uh, in their sacrifice ratio that we have calculated. So it is thirty six hundred and three thousand, and then revaluation loss is transferred and their balance is carried down. So come back to. now come back to their balance sheet let us check the balance sheet item by item free hold premises here free hold premises they are appreciated 22400 then plant and machinery uh, earlier in the previous balance sheet the plant and machinery was 13500 now it is reduced so it will be 11800 now fixtures and fitting 1750 they are reduced so 1540 Now vehicles fourteen thousand one hundred. Now the value is eight hundred. Stock for uh, stock yes the stock is fourteen thousand. Sorry, the vehicles were earlier thirteen fifty and now they are eight hundred. The stock is fourteen thousand one hundred. Now it is reduced to thirteen thousand three ninety five. Bills receivable thirteen thousand sixty as we will do, and the debtors again bank uh, debtors uh, we will make and bank and cash will be done. And then capital accounts of balances are uh, same as the previous balance sheet, and it will be again uh, clear. Now the entry will be cash account debit to A's capital to goodwill, then goodwill account debit to current accounts of the partners in their sacrifice ratio. So it is all. Thank you.